Pittsburgh Steelers. The Steelers 19-13 winners as they improve to 7-6 and 1. Titans falling to 9 and 5. It came down to one final player for the Titans and they just could not get the first down and that handed the Steelers the 6-point win. And joining us now to discuss this game, Tony Romo, who was on the call for this for CBS. Uh, Tony, this was a real back-and-forth game. Uh, we, The guys mentioned it here. It was kind of an ugly game between two teams that know how to play ugly. But in terms of the win for the Steelers, how big is this for them and how bad of a loss is this for the Titans? Well, this keeps, I believe, the Steelers' season alive because I don't think there's any chance they're going to like run the table going into this game. Each time they win a game, it's like, okay. But I really think the Steelers are having one of those crazy years. Like, they're not really good enough right now to be above 500. But somehow the tradition, the history of this franchise and Coach Tomlin, they're like figuring out ways to win. And it's just really, it's it's hard for me to describe them because it's ugly every single time. And yet they still somehow get into the game and figure out a way to stay in this thing. And at the end of it, they'll probably get in at like the seven seed at nine, seven and one. And all the nine and eight tiebreakers, they knock out all those teams. So uh, it's a testament to this organization. And the Titans, they're talented and good, but the turnovers, they lose when they turn the ball over. They win when they don't. They turned it over today. Last year, the Steelers went 11-0 and then fell apart in the second half of the season. We saw them make that early playoff exit. This year, the Titans started off really well, lost Derrick Henry. Uh, now this offense seems to be struggling, scoring nine points less per game. They lost by nine today, or pardon me, lost by six today. How concerned are you about this Titans offense as it is right now without Derrick Henry as we push through this final month? Well, Derrick Henry's obviously a huge deal, an MVP type of player, but uh, I think the bigger concern is Julio Jones and A.J. Brown, because if they get those two back, this team can run the ball. You saw today, I mean, they had 200 rushing yards, 201 on the road, and I think they're okay running the ball. They're better with Henry, but I do think that the receivers, they just don't have guys to win enough one-on-one -on -one matchups. They're going to get in crucial situations and key points in the game, they're going to play man-to-man. -man, and they're going to have a guy up in your face at the line of scrimmage and you need guys who win. Not just once in a while, but all the time. And they have to go help that guy. So when Brown gets back and Julio gets fully healthy, they could have that going right into the playoffs. That, to me, all of a sudden, ooh, here comes Henry. That almost makes these guys like the favorite in some ways. Then it's like, I don't want to play this team. Tony, if you could talk to Ryan Tannehill, give him a little bit of advice, what would you tell him at this point of the season based on the play that's been inconsistent from him so far well the biggest thing is you can't turn the ball over and I think you know he did you know a fine job in the wins he's just not turning the ball it's not going to be pretty this team is similar to Pittsburgh in that regard they just have you know more stability in certain areas and the, the offensive line is better for Tennessee so they can actually play uh, you know big boy ball longer now when I said they're not very good either but Pittsburgh is really bad and I feel like Tannehill just needs to understand who his team is, and he's kind of doing that, right? He's playing the game the right way to figure out how they can keep winning. But, you know, at the end of the day, you can't give away the ball as a team. He can't throw interceptions because they can't overcome it. Their room for error is just small. Tony Romo, CBS analyst, former NFL quarterback, on the call for this one today. Tony, thanks for hopping on with us here on HQ to talk about the result here. You got it. Thanks. Go HQ. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.